everyone, welcome to another miniature unpacking. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Warlock Pals, the 4D Torture Chamber. And uh, you can pick this up. It has 26 total pieces in it. And it is $43 and some change on Amazon. And that has free shipping with Prime. So yeah, really nice set. There's not a lot of uh, torture chamber stuff like this, especially painted. So let's dive in and take a look. All right, so the first thing we have are a couple of coils or piles of chain. And there's two of these. Actually, really nice detail. For something as simple as, as chain, actually, the detail's pretty good. A lot of chain that's really not even on the pile kind of roped around it. Looks pretty good. Yeah, you, and you can use this stuff not even in a, you know, in a torture chamber. If you want to just put it in a dungeon or a castle, go for it. So it looks like second, looks like we have a couple of, looks like a, not torches, but sort of like maybe tiki torches or something like that. Where you get two of them and, uh. There's sort of like a a bowl sitting on a tripod of wood. So it would be cool to have for, for light. And you can put these as light sources. I mean, they don't light up or anything, but yeah. Be nice, definitely nice decoration for sure. So you'll get, you'll definitely get two of these, I guess they're razors, torches, something like that. Next, there is a bull. Oh, yeah. This is cool. A brazen bull or the brazen bull. And the you can actually take the, the back of the bull off, as you can see. And inside, there is a, a, a small little compartment. You can, you can hide stuff. The little door doesn't, doesn't go too well onto the bull. Uh, yeah, it does. If you, if you turn it a certain way, it kind of snaps down in there but yeah really cool looking bull looks like the uh what is that insurance company with the bull <laughs> all right so yeah you'll get a brazen bull Ooh. so next oh yeah this is pretty cool this is like a uh an iron made chair but i guess this would probably just be a spiked chair actually details really good on this <clears throat> Definitely a distinct color between the wood and the metallic parts of it, the brackets and the braces and stuff. Yeah, this is definitely a spike chair because it has spikes all on the on the back of the chair, on the seat, and on the armrest. There's a couple of uh, hooks, well, a couple of uh, wrist brackets that you would put someone that you have that you're torturing into the, uh, the chair, lock them down. Really cool. All right, now next we have a couple of stocks. I'm guessing these are stocks, sort of like where you put your head and your, your wrists through and then they, you know, put the top of the stock down on it and clamp it up. Good detail on these too. <clears throat> I don't see any bleed over on the, on the metallic pieces like the brackets and the braces and stuff. Really nice, these, uh, these little things are nice. So far, so good. All of all of these uh, pieces are really nice. So here are a couple of torture racks, I guess they would be, where you put the person that you're torturing the feet through the bottom, lock it down, much like like you would the stock. And then I get, yeah, this is, I guess this is a torture rack because you also, it also has some chain, really nice detail to this, uh, <clears throat> some handcuffs. And then you would just basically use the wheel here and then spread their arms and legs apart and just stretch them out. And you get two of these, which is, uh, which is really nice to get two of these. Yeah. You could, yeah, you could set up a really nice, uh, 
torture room with this. I mean, obviously, I mean, it is a torture set. So here is a, a small little trough. I guess this would be the drowning trough where you just kind of get them up there and just do you like do you like the government does and just waterboard <laughs> waterboard your people looks like a little miniature uh horse trough so next we've got a just a plain table seems like there's a table or a bed or something like that in every set nice color brown nothing spectacular about it it's just a table that you would probably put your torture tools on and stuff like that so all right Ooh, yeah this is cool this is a uh, a wheel and this this actually spins this is the catherine wheel and uh has a, a nice gear gear set there and the wheel actually spins which is pretty cool lots of spikes on here and then there's the manacles on the bottom where you would put their their hands in or their feet in and then you would just roll this against their body i guess the old catherine wheel there's some pretty brutal stuff back in the day wasn't there so now we've got a couple of miniatures which are pretty nice here it looks like there is there's two of them and the first one is the torturer himself and it looks like something out of a movie, you know, with the the leather, the leather covering on his face. He's got a a whip, dark colors, sleeveless shirt. Nice, actually, really nice detail on it. He's got a spiked boots and the the leg gaunts. You know, really nice, good looking miniature. And these are, you know, these are your typical, I think it's 28 millimeter. And you can, you could put these on a base. If you have a five foot base, you could super glue these on because they have a, just a small base. They don't have your typical, you know, five foot circle, but yeah, you know, here's a, here's the assistant. He, he kind of reminds me of master, <laughs> but he's, uh, he's kind of slumped over. It looks like he has a, a hump on his back. And he has a, a meat cleaver. And he has this like very evil look on his face. Like he actually takes pleasure in being the assistant. And he has a, a leather apron on and all that stuff. Ooh, it looks like he's got blood on the apron and everything. So yeah, really nice minis. Yeah, you could definitely put these on five foot bases. In fact, you wouldn't even need to put them on five foot bases because they are, you know, like I said, for the, the scale of the minis. So here we have a couple of, looks like a couple of razors with more transparent coal and fire in them. These are pretty nice. You get two of these and you can put these somewhere in your in your dungeon, they're nice, uh, like a, a brass metallic color. I like the transparent, and I actually like the detail that they did, where it's darker around the edges and more orangish in the center. Yeah, I like that. Looks good. You get two of these. All right. Ooh, so this is probably going to be my favorite piece here in the set, which is uh, an Iron Maiden. One of my favorite uh, metal bands too, by the way. Yeah, <clears throat> is this is this. Oh, look at that! The door opens. So you actually get an Iron Maiden with a door that opens, but be careful. As with all the other Warlock stuff, you open up the door, and it's uh, yeah, it's not the not the best, but it does work. And it does open up, so yeah, definitely, definitely cool though. Especially having an Iron Maiden that a door opens up. But I like the, I definitely like the detail on this with the the head on the top, and all the bolts. And actually, inside has pretty good detail too. There's a lot of spikes, of course. That's what the the Iron Maiden is all about. 
and you can see inside of the actual Iron Maiden itself, and it has all kinds of spikes and stuff. So yeah, really nice piece. Definitely a really nice piece. So I, uh, oh, actually both doors open up. Look at that. Both doors open up on the Iron Maiden, not just one. So now when you open up both doors, you can really see the detail inside of the Iron Maiden. Really awesome. This is a great piece right here. All right. <clears throat> Oh, so now we have a little, a small little piece here, and this looks like it is the torturer's tools. Yeah, it looks like, and this would be good to put on the table. It looks like there's some knives, some curved blades, a couple of hot poker prods. Yeah, it's just a, uh, as I drop it and lose it and never find it again. It just has a bunch of tools and a little uh, a little rack, which is a little tray, which is really cool, which would be good just to put on the table, you know? That's where I would put it. So next we have a couple of hanging cages, and I, I really like these. And actually, I just put these together, and really nice base with the the dirt and the rubble and stuff and these cages are are absolutely beautiful they don't open up but it actually came with a piece of uh black string that actually threads through the eyes as you can see down to where you can tie it at the base of the actual the hangman it's really nice but not only do you get one of these but you get two of these which is even that much better. <clears throat> and these are a couple of great pieces, especially if you are if you have like a camp or something like that and you have a couple of players that may be captured, you could use these as, you know, terrain to, to identify where your players are. I mean, you can't open up these cages and put any miniatures in them, but, but still, these things are really nice. The detail's really nice. And uh, these are a couple of really nice pieces, uh, along with the Catherine Wheel, of course, and the Iron Maiden. So now we've got a couple of these uh, torture crosses. I'm guessing these are probably torture crosses or torture, torture racks, maybe. But yeah, these are torture crosses. And these have good detail on them also. I mean, they are made of wood. There's all kinds of leather straps. And there's a couple of metallic rings at the end where you'll, you know, bind your victims to the cross. Yeah, this is really nice. And, you know, you can see the detail of the metallic brackets and braces and stuff. And, and actually the, the loops that you would actually tie your victims onto it. Very nice. <clears throat> so now we have a, a pendulum. And uh, this has uh, some blades on it, as you can see. Really nice, holy cow. Nice stone blocks kind of keeping it steady. And this thing actually swings back and forth too, as you can see. And then the pendulum actually has some really nice detail on it. It has three external blades where you would just slide that across the victim. Mm, very nice. I like this, this is a nice piece too. And you, you know, you could use this for other stuff besides, uh, besides a blade. I mean, you could use this just as a, like a religious piece or something like that. And like, say a, maybe a religious chamber or something like that. But yeah, this is, this is a really nice piece and you can get a lot of uses out of these pieces besides just using them for, you know, the torture chamber. So now we've got a couple of really cool pieces here. And these are a couple of cages. And these cages are huge. Oh, yeah, look at this. And the bottoms come off of these cages. So you can put, it looks like, I don't think a large miniature will fit in here, but you could try it. But you could definitely fit a small or a couple small miniatures and a medium miniature. Yeah, and then you can just snap it back on and there you go. There are your cages that you can actually put minis in. And these are really nice. The detail is really nice. I like the I like the metallic color on these. Really nice. And the cool thing is they hold miniatures, which is another great another great thing about this piece. Wow, really nice. All right. So now we've got a uh, another ooh another 
Another torture table also. Look at that with a wheel. I'm not sure what the official name of this is, but this might be a this might be just a, a torturer chamber or something like that. But yeah, these are these are nice. Well, this is nice. It's got a wheel and nice legs, and it's something that, that would just I think it lays flat. <clears throat> and then when you put your victim in there, because it looks like uh the size of a of a body from going from narrow to the feet all the way up to the shoulders and then back narrow for the head. So I'm guessing you would just clamp someone down onto this table and just torture them. And then you could, you know, the torturer would use the wheel and lean them up or lean them back or something like that. So that, I think that's what this piece is, but a really nice piece. And in fact, it's a really nice set and that's all 26 pieces. And it was, uh, like I said, it was $43 and some change. So, you know, you're spending what less than two dollars per piece for this stuff. I mean, that's and it's painted. I mean, that's a good price. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the Wiz Kids 4D terrain set, the torture room. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this. And this is a really nice uh set. You don't even there's a lot of pieces that don't even really have to do a torch or anything. And you could use these as just regular pieces for your, your dungeon as dressing or your castle or whatever encounter you're running. So yeah, let me know down in the comments section, what you like, and please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up if you like the video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you like the content that you see and lastly hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I release a new miniature video. So until next time, happy gaming and stay safe. Bye for now.